Late winter and early spring are the best times to start planting and growing salad greens. I try to eat a salad every day, and in order to do this, I have to be strategic about plant timing so I can get a harvest for as long as possible. If I get my plant timing right, then I can set myself up for being able to have greens for salad for, in my climate, up to 10 to 12 months of the year. So how do you make this work in your garden? It's all about strategically planning your succession plantings. Today I'm going to show you how I use this method using my green stock vertical planters, but you can use this in any place that you plan on planting your salad greens. Before I show you my method for succession planting, I wanted to make sure that you know that green stock vertical gardens is getting ready to have a sale. But when they reached out to me, they asked if I would be interested in offering you early access to the sale with a special discount. That means that you'll be able to buy my favorite green stock planters, the green stock leaf. The five tier is going to be $99.97 and the seven tier is $119.97. Plus you'll get an extra 15% off site wide when you use Jill 10. You'll see the savings reflected in your cart. Now this sale ends March 1st. So after March 1st, my code Jill 10 will go back to its normal discount of $10 off a purchase of $75 or more. So don't delay to get a fantastic deal on either of these planters. So because you follow me on on this channel your sale starts early and your discount is greater so I really appreciate you following along and I love to pass on these extra savings to you all right so the key with these succession plantings is not to plant everything all at once I've made that mistake in the past and what happens is you get all the greens harvesting all at once and that's a lot of greens for a short period of time but what we want to do is have salads for longer for months on end if possible and so I'm going to show you how by planning and planting at different times you can actually do that when I'm doing this with my green stock whether it's the leaf or the original the first thing I want to do is that I want to plan out all the tiers and I do that in my complete garden planner and not only do I plan out what I want to plant in each tier but I also plan out when I'm going to plant it so let's take a look tier by tier what I'm actually going to be planting in this leaf planter this year you can use the same concept over here for the original I'm just going to give you an example here with the leaf in tier one here you can see that I already have arugula planted this is what I planted a couple of weeks ago and the thing about arugula is that it just like other cool tolerant greens like brassica greens and spinach they can be planted about six weeks or so before your average last frost date so I wanted to plant them first they're already sprouting and my goal for them is to come to a harvest and then after that I'm going to be planting my second planting of lettuce the reason I'm doing this is because arugula is more cold tolerant than lettuce is and so I can go ahead and get it planted and start to harvest it early and then plant lettuce in its place so that's one example of a succession planting with this top tier. In this second tier, I'm going to be starting out with lettuce. Now, lettuce is one that you can directly sow into the green stock. The soil temperature is a big deal though, which is why early in the spring, in the late winter, I like to start mine from seed indoors. That way they grow faster and they get stronger and then they can be transplanted out just a little bit earlier. When you direct sow lettuce seeds when the soil is still cool, it takes quite a bit longer to germinate. Let me give you an example of that. Here we have what I'm going to be actually planting today. These are lettuce seedlings that I planted indoors a couple of weeks ago. You can see a couple of these didn't sprout. I think they were too old, but you can see how quickly they grew. These were planted and they stayed inside under grow lights. These are actually gonna be ready to transplant into the planter. We're getting ready to do that now. But if you compare it to one that I actually kept here in the greenhouse, let me show you. These right here in soil blocks, they were planted just a couple of days after the ones that you just saw, and they don't even have their true leaves yet. They just started to sprout. They took quite a bit longer. Now they were under grow lights back here in my greenhouse. They were also on a seedling heat mat, but you can see how much, how much slower they grew. So that's why I think it's important to really consider not only soil temperature, but also the ambient temperature early early in the spring and in the late winter inside we'll definitely get these lettuce seedlings a quicker start so today i'm going to be planting out those lettuce that were growing in soil blocks this will be in this tier and as you can tell these are going to get to be mature quicker 
because we're actually going to start the lettuce seeds that will go in here. We're going to start those today. And so those will be just a couple of weeks behind these. These will be more mature and then the next set of lettuce will come in behind it. Now the other tiers are going to be a little bit easier to go with because we're going to be doing more of the greens such as the brassica greens and the arugula and spinach and that kind of thing. For this third tier and the fifth tier, I'm doing the same thing. I am doing a planting of what's called ovation greens. It's a greens mix from Johnny's Seeds. Last year I did elegance greens that did amazing. And so I thought I would try the ovation greens this year. And this is just honestly subject to your creativity, how you want to do this. I'm just doing it where I'm doing the third and the fifth tier with the ovation greens. But instead of planting them all at once, I decided to do every other pocket with the ovation greens and then stagger them by two weeks. So two weeks ago, I planted these and they're just starting to sprout. It took a little bit longer for these to sprout than it would normally, but we've had some really cold weather and it's been in the greenhouse and the greenhouse isn't heated right now. So the temperatures have been in the twenties. That definitely affects the germination rate, but they're finally starting to sprout. And I did that, like I said, in every other pocket today, I am going to plant again. And so the goal here is that with two weeks of difference, then the rate of growth between each of these pockets is going to be slightly different. Now, I do expect that with the increase of daylight and more warmth, that the second one will probably start to catch up a little bit with the first planting. That's to be expected, especially as you go more into spring. The, you'll notice that the green's rate of growth is going to start to accelerate. So there's not gonna be probably a true two week difference, but still by staggering them, this will be definitely coming to maturity quicker than the ones that I'm gonna be planting today. So that's what I'm doing for the third and the fifth tier. And then for the fourth tier here, I'm going to be planting those all with arugula. Can you tell? I love arugula. The purpose for that is that we've already got arugula planted. This was planted a couple of weeks ago. You can tell arugula, in my experience, sprouts so fast. These were planted the same day as those ovation greens. But two weeks ago, planted these. And then two weeks later, I'm going to be planting this fourth tier here with arugula. Again, you can kind of see the picture here. My goal is to have them staggered. This will come to maturity first, and then the second one will be right behind it. Here we are down to tier six. And in tier six, I planted spinach a couple of weeks ago. Oh, it looks like one little sprout's coming. So it was a little bit slower to germinate. I think again, because of the soil temperature, but the goal here is to get the spinach to come up. Spinach is one of the colder hardy greens that you can plant. And after the spinach starts to bolt, which that normally happens in my climate in April, it really does not like the heat at all. I'm going to follow the spinach with a planting of arugula. The thing that I really like about arugula, which you can also check this out in the video where I talk about growing salad greens all summer, is that it is widely adaptable and it will also go into the heat and be, be really good. Now, sometimes if you get really hot, it starts to get a little, not bitter, but kind of spicy, but it's still a very palatable green. And so after the spinach, I'll plan to plant even more arugula. The key for me for salad greens all summer is once the cooler loving greens like your spinach and your um, brassica greens and your lettuce start to go bitter and start to bolt, that's when you can start putting in arugula and be able to have those greens for as long as you want. So arugula is coming in after the spinach here. And then finally in tier seven, I planted arugula two weeks ago, maybe, maybe a week ago. In the bottom tier, must have just been a week ago because it's not as, just, has just started to sprout. But my plan for tier seven is to have arugula here and then follow that with a third planting of lettuce. I'm gonna be doing lettuce indoors again to be able to transplant out just because it's so much easier. And I, I could direct sow lettuce if I wanted to after the arugula, but to truly be able to get the quickest turn of successions, lettuce is just so easy to sow indoors. Now you could, you know, sow it in a, in outside, like in a cell pack. That way you still have your room for all this to mature and then you can just transplant it out if it's warm enough. So that's an idea if you don't have a grow light indoors. But all that to say, after the arugula is up and harvested, then I'll be putting in lettuce in this seventh tier. 
This is just an example of one way that I'm using succession planting in my green stock planter to be able to get salads for much longer. Now, I will be eventually moving from greens, especially in this leaf planter, to bush beans. I've shown you a video before of how I do that and why I do that. In my climate, it is too hot to grow anything except for arugula in the summer. And so I like to take advantage of that and grow lots of bush beans in my green stock planter. I will be doing more arugula here in my leaf planter throughout the year as well. But all that to say, there are definitely options if you want to do a spring and then summer and then fall planting. That's what I do. A lot of times I'll do peppers in these as well during the summer. There's just so many different options. But this gives you at least an idea of how staggering your planting will help you to get a longer harvest. Another thing to note is that in general, lettuce seeds like to be sown directly in the garden when the soil temperature is around 68 to 70 degrees. So soil temperature is important for lettuce germinating if you're not starting it indoors. As far as plant timing for spinach and arugula and other greens, as you've seen here, I like to directly sow them in whatever I'm planting them in. That can usually be done up to six weeks before your average last frost date, depending on your climate and how well your soil is able to be worked, which also is a, is a good way to use a green stock planter because a lot of times the soil is so cold in the ground, but it warms up a lot quicker in the planter. So you can actually get your harvest quicker for that reason. Another thing I'll share with you is I've had this question asked, would I be starting these as early as I am if I didn't have a greenhouse? And the answer is I would still be starting them early outside, which is actually what I've done every year. This is the only, the first year that I've ever moved my green stalks in the greenhouse, but I would be delaying them by probably a week or two if they weren't protected with the greenhouse. I don't have heat in my greenhouse right now. The purpose of me doing this in the greenhouse is it helps to warm up the soil temperature and I've just noticed that the plants themselves grow faster in the warmth of the greenhouse. But if I didn't have a greenhouse, I would still do all of this. I would just do it outside and I might delay planting by a week or two. I hope this has given you an idea of how you can employ strategic succession plantings to be able to get a harvest for much longer than you might have otherwise if you just do a one-time planting. Whether you're doing it in a green stock planter or you're doing it in the ground or raised bed or other containers, stack your planting is going to be able to give you a much longer harvest of what you need, especially when it comes to spring salad greens. But I can't sing praises of green stock planters enough. I've had them for several years and they are my go-to when it comes to salad greens. If you're wanting an easy way to grow a lot of stuff with hardly any work, hardly any weeding, insect pressure, seriously guys, lazy gardeners dream right here. I would recommend one of the green stock planters. And if you're watching this in real time, make sure and grab their sale right now. With my code Jill10, you'll get a fantastic deal. And if you're watching this after the sale, make sure you get my emails on Fridays because whatever sale that they have in the future, if they come up, then I'll be sure to let you know about it. And for more gardening inspiration to help you get more harvest out of the space that you have, be sure and like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.